And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Airport CEO. All right, um, I've upgraded security. We've got me. We got uh, more recognizable security. I added another exit up here, just so they didn't have to walk all the way down here and out here, so they can just get out of my place very, very fast. I built queues on all of these. I don't know how many people were yelling at me that. Yeah, you can build queues. There's a button for it. I just didn't didn't register it. So I got queues out here for these as well. Fun times. And I hired, if we go to staff, executive committee, I hired an HR director, um, which allowed me to, to have shifts to limit the amount of time um, the people stand at their post because they were getting a little worn out and in need of a break. And I also hired the strategy director, <clears throat> which unlocks the R&D uh, projects to actually get some, like, shops and stuff. Because one of the things that I realized after unlocking the medium pads is, yes, we need a medium runway. And guess what doesn't fit in my spot? A medium runway. So we are going to have to really, really um, work at, I don't know how, I honestly don't know how you're supposed to piecemeal this together. Because if I were to build a medium runway here, so I would have to buy this plot to build this runway out here a little bit. Then I would have to buy this plot in order to build a runway out here a little bit. Um, or... I could buy two plots together, right? Two plots together and put two runways in, stagger them so one is a takeoff and one is a landing. Um, so those are options, but no matter what option you choose, depending on how you lay out your airport, you are gonna need two new plots. Um, so sad face on that. Um, one thing, oh, yeah. <clears throat> so I don't have the space to slap it in here. If I had this one here, I really, really not wise to put another one right next to it, right? So if I were to stagger them, I would have maybe our takeoff down here like this, right? And then our landing would be like this, only it would be out here and then maybe up a little bit to stagger where they come out and then I would have them come out and down. <clears throat> so I know that I'm not gonna be able to afford that anytime soon. I mean, I could buy this plot and this plot and it would be one and a half million dollars to do that, which would leave me roughly a million dollars left over, which is a lot, don't get me wrong, but I would have to then, like, <clears throat> turn this runway off, which would break all of these, um, or, like, close the airport, which, <clears throat> either way, it's going to be a horrible break in my lovely 100% run here. Like, these are all maxed out. We are at 75 flight capacity. We are good to go. Look at all those flights. And we are earning money hand over fist. Like, we are really earning a lot every single day. And it's glorious. I love it. Um, but it's at this stage of the game, it's like, okay, well, there's no way, there is no way of putting in a runway um, in here at all. So I would either buy this spot and eliminate all of this GA stuff. Just all of this goes away. Um, and, you know, it's that's a decent income. I don't know what it breaks down to. Like, can we get, like, an amount? See, average hourly 24 hours. I don't know. Parking fees, maybe? So I'm getting 13 grand um, a day. 
on parking fees. That's all coming, I think, from general aviation. That's a huge amount of income. I mean, that is our bottom line right here, cash flow. <clears throat> so getting rid of that is not ideal. Um, parking, we don't really need this anymore. Franchises, uh, that's what I want to work on today. I want to I want to try to squeeze in some franchises. So we are gonna <clears throat> borrow. We are gonna borrow some space out of here. And we don't need a lot. That much, just that much, right there. Okay, <clears throat> and we are going to add in. Maybe a couple shops. Depending on how much space I need for them, I may want a couple shops in here. And let's give them a custom floor. Maybe a, a gray floor. Set them apart. Something like that. Let them uh, let them build. There we go. Get a little bit of a security warning, I think, <clears throat> when that happens. Because we had people that can, you know, there's a security opening, right? So, um, shops. Okay, so small, medium. basic we're gonna pause it while we do this yeah we gotta we gotta make this a shop room of course should we make yes let's make this a shop room and this a shop room and then put a desk in here. Well, something like that. And maybe mirror it on that side. Okay, and then we want some shelves and stuff. So I was some wall mounted shelves along that wall. Okay. And we gotta do the same down here because you know we gotta mirror it. Something like that. Come on. Basic basic table. large oh what are these plenty of room for people to walk around okay that's a lot of stuff and things to build and then we want Maybe something like that. We I, we should be getting a cut of the proceeds, and now we've got restaurants and cafes open. So who knows? We don't have, I only have like five dudes for construction, so it's going to, yeah, it takes some, it takes a minute. So let's look at some contracts. Pick and fly. So we get 45%. Well, we don't have 
size 100 oh oh that is that is terrible 17 percent 30 percent I like that let's sign this Eh, the contractors are doing their best. Okay, so we should staff and route sales target. Like what? What is taking so long? Should I? Change this over to staff parking. I might do that. Yep, now everybody's leaving. Sorry, everybody. It is what it is. Who is that? Somebody really is. Somebody's really hungry. Yeah, somebody's really hungry. Um. I mean, I hate to build it all the way down here. It kind of leaves these guys kind of out with nothing. But where is... Staff and route? Well, where, where are they? I mean, we got to get staff some... What is this? An employee can't make stop. Path analyst analysis failed. Employee. We've got security. We've got a we got staff that can go through security. Why are you not seeing it? Okay, what is what is going on here? Oh, oh, I know why. I know why. I know why. Bingo. That was why. I think. I think he made it. Think closed. Oh, of course. Open hours. For AM to midnight. So if we look at our I mean we should have gotten like yeah, two hundred bucks. Kind of a waste of a day. So let's see. See if we make it this time. Get why is that security? Okay. There we go. Bingo. Oh man, did I put those in backwards? Oh. <sighs> Oops. So a big burst of sales. Huh? Hopefully we get a little bit of uh, consistent sales out of this. I mean, I'm hoping we we get it. All right, let's look at let's look at a restaurant. Um, what time is it? Okay. I'm gonna guess this is gonna need a little bit more space. My intention was to have this all do baggage and stuff, but yeah. Uh, 
and we want to bulldoze like that. Okay, how many sails? About half halfway to our goal. Got some people who are really, really hungry. I'm trying. I'm building. I'm building here. So we're gonna do secure zone again, cause you know, you know it is what it is. I kind of want to cut this off and make this a staff zone only. Okay, so food. We're gonna get you a nice. I mean, no, maybe not more marble. Oh, well, maybe a lighter marble. Why not? I mean, it's a very, very subtle, different texture than that. Very, very subtle. Okay, uh, economy. Look at that, 271,000. I'm going to be able to buy those plots of land in no time. Okay, so, food and restaurants. Food room. We're going to pause it while we do this. Will passengers pay for any food items they ordered? Let's try to put this in right this time. Um, display fridge. So we're going to go... Let's see. Let's see. I just can't decide. I can never tell. Can we get rid of all of the help, please? Nope. So... And I think... I think that's the wall back there? I... <laughs> I can't tell. Sandwich? We, uh, we gotta have some sandwiches. That's a, well, we need a coffee machine, definitely. I don't know if the employees do this. I'm, I'm assuming they will. Snack, we gotta have some snacks too. Okay, so food counter. An empty countertop to frame a cafe or bar area with. Okay, what, what, I'm not sure what's going on there. But how about, you get some tables. Uh, let's do there, there. There. Ooh, yeah, modular sofa. Some place to relax. Yeah, I really hate that this is like, why would they build this? Where you can't see. You know, some place to chill. Yeah, having that sound just on constantly is, uh, you know, when I pause it, I expect the sound to sort of fade into the background. 
Now I'm going to assume we're not going to have enormous people, but we want to we want to plan for a couple big tables. <clears throat> Who knows? Let's check. Yeah. Let's uh, get these guys to build this. I can't believe I put that in backwards. I think when it closes, I'm going to... I might fix that. I'm going to mark that one for demolition. Yay, more sales. More sales, people. Oh, yeah. Decent. Now, if this hits 120... Like, do they immediately close? I, had, I, had, I seem to remember the game doing something similar. All right, I know I did this as a secure zone. All right, just a few more sales. We got it. I mean, it's relatively close to security, so you, they can jump down here, grab some food, and then make their way back up. And I could put some of those people movers in too, I guess. Aren't there like giant people movers? Maybe that was in airport infrastructure? No. Radar tower, ooh. Increases the max limit of daily flights by 50. Wow. I don't know if we can handle that. Woo. That, that'd be 125 flights. I would definitely have to unlock that. How's our staff doing? We still got a surplus. That's good. Uh, let's sign a contract. Hilltop Cafe. Always a good option. None of these are wanting me. Fridges. I don't have any fridges. Oh. I guess, I guess we do have some fridges. Put some more of those in. Funsies. So, what else might be... Yeah, display fridges. Thought it was six. Swift Veg. Sales for bonus. Oh, look at that. 171. Nice. I mean, it tells us rent and sales revenue is that much, but I highly doubt that. Yeah, I... <laughs> I highly doubt that. One, two, three, four, five. Let's maybe pop another one or two of those in. There. Maximum... Maximum stuff and things. Ooh, we got a lot of people. We might have to increase our seating as well. Alright. Let's see. Two oh five, both of those are two oh five. 225. I don't want too many sales, but I do want a nice cut of the profits. The bean. How about the bean? For a daily bonus of $12,500. Yeah, let's try that out. I mean, they're going to open and close it like... $2,500.
200 or almost doubling the number of sales that they targeted. That's awesome. Yay. People buying some food. All of the food, all of the food. Oh, we are actually using all my chairs and stuff. That is excellent. Oh, look at the wave of people coming in. Glorious. Is it, it they, yeah, they closed. I guess the people have to eat in the dark. Okay, so we should have had a pretty hefty profit. This is not right. Average hour. This is hourly. Let's go to daily. There we go. Now we've got some stuff. Previous day. $273,000. I don't know why all oh, the average daily is is that much because yeah, it's we had a few days of pretty rough pretty rough things. Um we're going to pause it really quick. Franchises. Previous day. Yes, we got definitely a good cut. But I don't know if we got any bonuses. Other income. Maybe we did. Bon there it is. So that sales hitting that sales target in this store gave us $7,600. That is some good money right off the top. I like it. So let's start planning for some airport expansion. I, I really want to move this whole setup. I know it's just built, but I really want to move it away and maybe reduce the amount of GA sites. We could probably shrink it by six and still be doing pretty good. I don't know what our limiting factor is here. It might be just airport traffic. I like how all the planes are like passing by this one. It's waiting so gently. Plus, I could redesign a little bit of it and make it a little bit more efficient. Maybe use some, utilize some underground things and stuff. So, I definitely want this. Mm, okay. Because I want to move all of this away. It's basically a self-contained system, and I just want to move it away. So we are going to unlock this one. That was that was a lot of money, $750,000. So yeah, we want to plan on moving this. We might move it up a little bit. You know, this is really close to the edge. I kind of want to move it up a little bit. Redesign it. Redesign it ever so slightly. So it's a little bit more efficient. Possibly, maybe. We'll see. It's going to be a lot of money to do that, though. But I, I will get a lot of money. I will get some of my money back when I deconstruct. I think. I think that's how that works. Not 100% sure. But now that we have a lot more space, I'll be able to sort of tuck that down in the corner and not worry about it. Um, but look at all the animals. Oh, just brutal. Brutal. Now, let's see if we have any contracts. We have no... Ooh, Maple Express. We can renegotiate. Yeah. Fee for small flight. Fee for medium flight. We're not getting any medium flights. That doesn't really give me anything, so... Reasonable. 
bump that up maybe a little bit. Accepted. Yay. Now there is a way to auto negotiate that. Um, I need a CFO. I think I have a CFO actually. Do I? Don't I have? Yeah, I've got a CFO. But I, I kind of want to negotiate myself. Um, who knows? You know, if he just blows all of our negotiation points on one contract. But that will give me a little bit uh, more money from Maple. I don't know why this is 50. I don't know why that is red. It should not be red, in my opinion. That should be green. I am I am servicing that airline as as much as they possibly could want. So, one thing we could do, earn a little bit more money. We're going to enable... Well, first, let's repair and then enable this. Okay. <clears throat> so that gives us a whole other runway to work with. Shortage of security officer. Okay, well, I'm going to need uh, applicants, security, hire, hire. Should be good. <clears throat> I've got a little patrol going on here too. I got a little guy going around. Uh, can I edit a patrol? <clears throat> edit patrol. Can't plot patrol route. Patrol route too long. I mean, it let me play it. Yes. <clears throat> there we go. If we do a heat map, passengers. Arrivals and departures, excellent. Walkable area, that's pretty straightforward. Taxiway congestion, not bad. A little bit heavy over here. A little bit heavy. Does not take much. Yeah, you can see the... Uh, constant airplanes coming in but I mean it keeps up all right <clears throat> how is the shop doing on sales it's not not quite hitting the sales here <clears throat> we hit them we hit them up here though Employee can't find the staff room. Um, there's one right here. Oh, that is a nasty, nasty bit of work right there. Hey, how about that? He's in the staff room. Hey, it went away, finally. Good. Yeah, I don't know why this secure area. Like, how do I cancel this? Little quirks like that bug me in a game. It's the, I mean, they should have been long, long seen by the developers. Only a few more minutes. Sad. I was hoping we'd hit the target. And now they closed. This good dude's waiting here like, what? What? 
What is going on here? He was like stuck in the wall or something. Okay. Uh, shops. Counter. Let's actually build that correctly. Pretty sure that's the way it, that's the way it goes. Hopefully we get that built, you know, before the shop is supposed to open again. Oh, I like how you're building it from this room. That's very smart. There we go. Little bit ma makes a little bit more sense. So the shop was pretty popular, restaurant not so much. Would all those people sit down at once? When I, when I, that was interesting. All right, well, we've got two franchises going. We haven't had a, since, since that rush, and fails that I had, I haven't had one disaster since. So these have just been sitting here, like, doing nothing. Just costing me money. So yeah, fun times. Um, can I just delete all? Why can't I delete all? Like, these messages go all the way back to the very first day. God only knows what this takes up in, like, disk space when I save the game. But I definitely want to bump up radar. So $280, probably an hour. Where do I want to put this? Way out here? Nope, not right there. Ooh, I can put it in between. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Better believe it. Right there. All right. That's that was a that was 50 grand right there. That was not a cheap thing to build. But it's going to load us up. Once it's built, we are going to be able to really increase the number of uh, passengers or, you know, flights that we've got. So there's 10 more flights from this guy that we're going to be able to bring in. Now, if we have the spot for that, I'm going to have to keep a very, very close eye on my staff. Why is this? This, this feels unfinished to me. Like, I don't know whether this all is. Um, economy report. Made construction costs. Is that a minus 400,000? Oh, yeah. Uh, that was this purchase right here. So, so even though we bought that for 750,000... In the end of the day, it only cost me roughly 400000 because of my income. So that's actually pretty good. I'm not going to be able to spam by all of these, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, bingo. We have more flights that we can tackle. Now, we could either sign another contract with another airline... Or, e you know, ease our way into it a little bit. Especially since we're going to have to move all of this stuff. We're finally stretching beyond our first little square. It's so awesome. But that's going to have to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.